Hi guys, this is Nicola with Infinite Wisdom. I'm sorry, I had to get my camera situated. So this reading will be for Aries, mid-August 2017. This is a general read, guys. So this reading may not resonate with everyone. Um, if it does not resonate with you, please feel free to um, request a personal reading. Also, check your sun, moon, and rising. Um, and I'll have all those listed on my uh, channel as they become available. Like I said, this reading is for Aries. Mid-August 2017. Y'all, I'm sorry these readings are late, but like I say in all my other videos, or like I've said in these videos, I am a single mother of four kids. I do have a full-time job that um, I work as well. So some sometimes my schedule conflicts where I can't get these readings out. And also, guys, I've been doing a lot of personal readings lately. Um, which is great. I wish I had more personal readings. That would actually free up more time for me to concentrate on these videos because I wouldn't, you know, work so hard doing the other job. <laughs> but regardless, thank you for those who have purchased the reading. Um, it is greatly appreciated. I love the readings for you guys. I feel like I make a connection with everyone I read for, which is, it's just, it's amazing, actually. I just can't, I can't even put into words how great I feel when I do a reading for someone. Um, Next month, guys, stay tuned. I have a surprise for you guys. But let's until then, let's go ahead and do this reading. This is for Aries, mid-August 2017. What do we have for Aries, mid-August 2017? Aries, mid-August 2017. Y'all, I've been crying. I was watching a movie with my kids, and I got emotional. <laughs> I can't help it, y'all. The movies be getting to me sometimes. I don't really watch TV. I really only watch TV like once a week. But every time my kids seem to get, get seem to, their movies seem to get to me. Lately, especially after this uh, lunar eclipse, I've been so emotional. It's been crazy. All right. My two ones come out there. Y'all, if it looks like I'm squinting, I am. I cannot see. <laughs> All right, so we got the Four of Cups as your underlying energy. Some of you guys feel like you're either bored in this situation. Um, you feel like you either miss out on opportunities or you're just not opening your eyes to the possibility of what's going on around you. Let's pull these clarification cards so we can get started. Your center, your central energy or central focus for the month is release. Aries, are you guys ready to walk away from something? You got the end of a phase of a, or a situation. So some of you guys are definitely ready to move on from a situation. Some of you guys are just ready to let go. You got the Ace of Wands um, on top of that. So you're ready to let go and start something new, start an exciting new opportunity or just changing your life. A lot of you guys are just changing your life. Um, it kind of fits into, okay, so I'm not an astrologer, guys, but I am aware that there's a solar eclipse on the 21st, and I have been following astrology since I was about 12. So, you know, this is about 20 years out of my life. Um, that is 20 years out of my life. Actually, I'm 32. Um, so, you know, I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I do, I do follow and study astrology, and I do know there's a solar eclipse, and the solar eclipse is supposed to bring change within your life. Mostly positive change, but not for all now. And that doesn't mean it's going to be positive change for all. But for Aries, some of the notes I took as in what the solar eclipse would bring for you. Um, I got creative and expressive time. Um, making long, don't make long-term commitments. Like now is not the time to make long-term commitments. But there will be positive sudden changes. And while I was saying this, the fool jumped out. So some of you guys are ready to take a leap of faith. You're ready to get out of something that is no longer serving you and take a leap of faith into your dreams or into um, something that means a lot to you, something that you're passionate about. I do see a lot of wands in here. So, so some of you are is ready to start something passionate, something that you feel like brings a lot of um, positive change in your life. Exactly what it says. All right, so let's move. Y'all, I don't be having an attitude. I sound like it, but that's just the way I sound. I know it's crazy, but... <laughs> It's just the way I sound. I've been around men my whole life. Like, it was, you know, I got my mom and my sister, but like, I got nothing but brothers. My dad raced his car, so I got, you know, all my uncles that are his friends that I grew up around. Um, then I had nothing but boys. I didn't even have a little girl of my own. So literally, I've been surrounded by men. So sometimes I sound harsh, but I'm not, y'all. I'm sweet as pie. So, 
Some of you guys are ready to release either something that has to do with a family or something that has to do with someone you're committed with. Maybe you don't see the positives that come along with that. And some of you guys are ready to make a, a transformation spiritually. And give me one more card for release. Okay. You gave me a couple more cards for release. Some of you guys need to have faith and have willpower when making these changes. Um, it's, some of you guys are going to have to go out on your own. Okay, this is what I got. I got the star card, strength, two of wands, and the judgment. So some of you guys are getting a second chance at something that you're very, very passionate about, something that you're creating on, on your own, whether it be following in a path with a new career change or following just within your path of, of whatever you believe. And some of you guys are going to need to have some faith and some willpower in order to start this journey because some of you guys are still holding on to whatever it is that's been holding you. Um, it's like something's hanging over your head. You gotta let that go. Whatever it is, let it go. It's not worth it. Move on. Go to the next phase of your life. All right, let's pull some more. So we got the Ace of Wands as a conflict. So this is definitely um someone needing to change your life. Someone wanting to change your life, and you're not happy with the circumstances that you've been given, and you're just ready to step free. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a, a relationship it can just be not happy with the job or not happy with your current status in life and you're just ready to make a move to see something better let's see why is this ace of wands in the conflict okay So some of you guys are happy about finding yourself like you've, you, the truth has been unfolded to you. You've learned the truth. You've, you've went into yourself. You've got in tune with yourself and you're ready to move past something. You're ready to back, move past something that no longer serves you. Y'all, I'll be stuttering over my words, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. We got the three of cups. So there's going to be some type of celebrating, some type of something that you're going to be happy about. You're going to be celebrating with either friends or a family or some of you guys are in a three partner um, relationship because this is a higher thing. This can represent finding out the truth about something or this can represent like an institution. It can represent um, learning something. It can represent talking with a teacher, talking with a counselor, um, law advice, and then you got the hermit right after that. So this is finding the truth of it within yourself or finding yourself, finding the higher person within yourself, finding your higher self. That's what I'm trying to say. So like I said earlier, some of you guys and it's a lot of my signs going on a spiritual journey right now. Um, this has been a very, very, how do I put this, exciting or um, dramatic for some month. For me, it's been more on the dramatic, but it is getting better. Okay, so for a lot of my Aries, this may be a marriage for some of you. For some of my Aries, you may be getting married. And I say this, this is moving on to something greater. You may be getting married. This is a celebration or a wedding announcement with the Hierophant, which is an institution which could, which could be a marriage or in a church house or either in, a, um, in something legal, like a legal contract. So some of you guys are getting married, but some of you guys are getting out of a situation. Some of you guys are finding yourself, um, finding your higher purpose, and you're happy about it, and you're getting out of a situation. You got the Hierophant, I mean, you got the um, Hermit, and the six of swords. So some of you guys are moving forward, y'all. My mind don't move as fast as my mouth sometimes. <laughs> but some of you guys are moving forward with uh, some desires. Like I said, some of you guys are taking a leap of faith. You got some new exciting things going on. You're ready to take a leap of faith and go and move forward with it. Some of you guys really may have found like what makes you happy and you're not gonna let anything stand in your way. And I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna tell you why I say that later. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> So, let's see. I'm trying to see. I'm going to have to pick it up, y'all, because I can't see. It's a glare from this fan. Y'all, I'm doing this in my, um, look at my hair. I'm doing this in my living room now because, um, basically the light in my room went out and it's got the light bulb stuck in it. So, I can't get it out. So, <laughs> and I don't have any gentlemen here to help me but my kids and they can't refuse. So, we're going to have to figure out something to get this uh, thing out of there so I can change my light. Anyway, we got the Ten of Cups as the um, overline or the crowning energy. And this is a content, content family. Like, um, 
And this may have something to do with the family. Some of you guys are really content right now um, in life. Maybe you found something that you think is going to be real rewarding. Maybe you guys found out some information about your family. You got the page of swords. Give me one more. Let's see. Where are we going with this? And some of you guys may be worried about your family. Um, you may be having to make a decision only because you got the Seven of Cups in the um, <clears throat> underline or your base energy. And this could be you procrastinating with something, maybe procrastinating about making a move with this. Uh, I think this is a career change. Or this is either starting something, starting a project, and something that you're really passionate about, something that could possibly change your life area. Let's see, why is this page? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Whoa, it fell. Oh, my bracelets. <laughs> so, okay. Some of you now, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, give me one more. Let me make sure before I just blurt this out. So, for some of my Aries, you guys may have just met someone, uh, possibly an air sign, possibly a water sign, because that's what I got here. But And I got the Ace of Cups as an underlying energy. So this may be somebody from your past. You got the Six of Cups too. Now, this person might be bringing some news to you, um, either offering a new idea, a new project to you, and you're maybe not as open as you would like to be, or maybe a little too critical about it. But regardless, this person could be beneficial to moving forward with this project. Um, they may be still learning about it or learning about the situation, whatever the project is. But I do see them being um, someone that is good for this project. I have the King of Swords, someone who is a very good decision maker, someone who could be so far as a leader, you know, when it comes to this. And you also got, where did I see it? I don't know why I forgot to say that. Okay. Okay. A new exciting opportunity to change your life now. I don't really, uh, I don't see it. But I'll see it later. I don't know where I've seen it. Oh, that's where it is. <laughs> it was right underneath. So this could be someone, even though you might not be open to what they're saying, this is someone that you can trust. This is trustworthy relationships. And I got the King, the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So this is like... An air sign and a, a water sign. This could be like um, the leader and this can be the enforcer. You understand what I'm saying? This person is well, like she really knows her. She really knows how to nurture things, how to take care of things. So this is someone that can help nurture this either relationship or this project into fruitation. And this person will be like the leader or the one that makes the decisions when it comes to either the financial part or the business part. For those of you that are starting something with a new project in business, because I do see that. But I also see some of you guys, um, like I said, being kind of spiritual. Maybe you're finding out some information about um, either an organization, because I do see some people finding out something about an organization that you're a part of, or it could even be a relationship, find out information about a relationship. And it's gonna, it's not gonna be bad information, but it's gonna be um, information that you possibly, that might be like, put you at a setback, or it might put a fire on your ass. Excuse me when I say that, but it might be something that puts a fire on your ass and, and kind of gets you moving toward the right path. I only say that because you got the seven of uh, cups. And this is somebody who needs to make a, a complex decision. And you got the king of swords up there who is great at making decisions. So maybe this person that's coming in, if this has to do with um, a business, this person coming in is going to be the one that's going to give you the advice. Because I do see someone getting advice from someone um, in regards to something. So it could be, there it is, the hierophant. <laughs> it could be you seeking um, like-minded people when it comes to fulfilling this project so that they can kind of help you along the way. And I'm not saying they're going to take over, but I am saying that they're going to be kind of sort of a leader. Um, so if you don't want to be on the back burner, I suggest you buckle up. Because, uh, yeah, time is of the essence. You got the Knight of Wands as well. So things will be happening at a fast pace now. Buck up, baby. Let's see, you got the Seven of Cups. So this is a complex decision or the need to do research. 
stop procrastinating. I literally just said buck up and I was looking at a whole other part. So with this new adventure or this new journey that you're going on, you're going to have to stay focused, focus, focus, focus. You're feeling real expressive right now. So don't let those expressions, emotions, um, creativity, any of that throw you off your balance. Actually use that creativity and use that emotion and that enthusiasm towards your goal. Because right now it's a very good time for you to be moving in this direction, whatever direction this is. I don't know what's going on in your personal life, guys. I can only um, go by what I see. Let's see. Okay, so for the Seven of Cups, and this is a complex decision and the need to do more research, this can also be daydreaming about um, something happening. There may be some light shed up on the situation, something that you've been waiting for, and it's going to come in a hurry. You got the Knight of Swords, so you got a lot of nights, so you need to, you need to move. You need, you need to be on the move this month. Um, if you guys have been waiting for something to happen or waiting for the right time for something to happen, now is the time. Perfect time, okay? Now is the time. And I, th I do see that some of you guys have been waiting for something to happen. So now is the time. You got to make a move, Aries. Make a move. All right. In the past energies, I got the Ten of Wands, which represents um, a lot going on, too much going on, a burden on your shoulder. And I got the Knight of Wands which means things happen at a fast pace or things occurring at a fast pace. Uh, a lot of things coming at you at once. And this also could mean time is of the essence. So right now, like I said, Aries, you guys need to move. There's something you guys need to accomplish or something you guys need to do. You need to get off your ass and do it. Y'all, my kids sleep so I can cancel with that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Why, why are these two cards right here in the past position? Okay, so <laughs> this did have something to do with either family or family, family member, or either just uh, either a relationship or um, or a partnership of some kind. You're ready to move on. I did see release earlier, and even though there's a lot of other stuff, um, some of you guys, like I said, are ready to move on. You're ready to move on past something. I keep saying that that you guys are ready to move on, and I do these. Next two cards basically say you're ready to move on. You got the key, the five of cups, death, and the seven of pentacles. So this is definitely ready to move on past something. You're at a temporary standstill because you put in so much work, and then you got the eight of cups underneath. So you put in a lot of work when it comes to a relationship, or when it comes to and relationship. Like I said, does not have to be like love, like man woman or a love relationship, where that you know whatever your orientation is. It doesn't matter. Only thing I'm saying is, this could be a partnership, this can be a job, this can be a union, this can be a, a, a parent-child relationship, but something you're ready to move past, something you're ready to just, and it doesn't necessarily mean, how do I put this, you're, you're not seeing the positives in the situation, so you're ready to move past it, you don't see it being fruitful to you, you don't see um, any of the of your hard work being recognized, whatever this is, it's like you just you're done with it. Like you're tired of worrying about it. You don't want to keep worrying. You're ready to move on past the situation because it's not turning out the way you hope. So a lot of you guys are moving on now. I see right now, you guys are releasing those energies. You're releasing those negative trait, those negative things that no longer serve you. You're just releasing anything that is not beneficial to you right now because you see so much more in the future for yourself. I believe. And that's where some of this spiritual transformation um, is. And some of you guys may have been coming out of karmic relationships. So right now you're just like, okay, I've learned my lesson. Like, you know this was a lesson and not something that you were meant to be in. So some of you guys are just moving past it. Like, okay, I've learned my lesson. Um, it hurts, but I know that it's something I had to go through. And that's the message that I'm getting for some of my Aries. Now, in the future influence, I got abundance. So things look very good. Things are looking up. Um, it's about having patience and making long-term plans, but long-term plans. But this is in the future, guys. Right now, with all the negativity that you're trying to erase out of your life, I would not recommend you making any long-term plans. I would recommend you waiting things out, like you got the hangman, and waiting 
for that waiting for those messages to come through wait for this to come through okay wait for those messages wait for that sign that will be sent to you that it's time for you to move forward okay there's something greater coming now let's see why is this three of wands here and this could also mean like you moving into your own like uh putting stuff in the works for your own whatever own career or even a new if this is a relationship it could be you getting out of a bad situation to go into a better <clears throat> so for some of you this is a relationship i only say that because all right i'll pull this is just freaking insane <laughs> for some of you guys you guys are moving past a relationship that either somebody was trying to juggle too much whether it be juggling a job and, a, and the relationship juggling a career juggling two different people somebody was juggling too much because i got the two of swords the two of cups and the two of pentacles all came out in the row so there was a lot of movement going on a lot of choices that had to be made a lot of choices that are going to have to be made in the future in order for you to move in abundance and and get past these whatever this is this foolishness i don't even think it's a lot of negativity i just think it's a lot of drama and i think it's a lot of, of going back and forth and, and juggling a whole bunch of bullshit so a lot of you guys are going to have to get past that make the choice to move on if it's a missed opportunity oh well boohoo move on because i see greater things in the future and i see you coming into your own but you're going to have to take the first step aries so let's go ahead and pull some ascending masters um oracle cards so we can see what our masters have to say or any advice our, masters, our ascending masters have to give for aries mid-august june <laughs> mid-august june eh? Mid-August 2017. Let's see what we got. Listen. Nurture yourself in yoga. So we all know yoga means you need to get in tune with your high self. It, it means that daily activity, whether it be working out, stretching, yoga, whatever, will help you get in tune with your higher self. And it doesn't make sense probably to some of you, but to some of you, you are well aware that yoga will help you um, to become more spiritually in tune with yourself, to learn your body and learn... Um, it's like there was a glitch or something. To learn your body and to learn... Um, what you need when you get in tune with yourself, I don't know how to explain this, guys, but you kind of get in tune with every piece of you. Like, you can feel everything from your toes to your hair. Like, literally, you can feel every single thing. So, for some of you guys, you need to get in tune with yourself. You need to listen to your inner voice, listen to your intuition. Some of you guys, I said earlier, are going through a spiritual transformation. Nurture yourself, take care of yourself health wise, drink water, exercise. A lot of you guys need to get up and move. You guys got the Knight of, of uh, Wands and you got the Knight of Swords, so some of you guys aren't moving. Get up, move, get out, work out, drink water, run, anything. Just get up and move, okay? Um, this has been my reading for you guys. Now, like I said, I will be releasing those um, Twin Flame, Love, Twin Flame, Soulmate, Life Partner, Soul Relationship um, readings. Not readings, but, um, and I might be doing those too. We'll see. But I'm going to be re releasing that video explaining you what your soulmates are, your twin flame is, um, what they mean to you, how you can identify them, the signs the angel guides send for us to be able to, to identify them, and um, what they mean to us and what you can expect. I'll be releasing those videos when I reach a thousand views, guys. Um, also, stay tuned for your love reading for um, couples and singles. And guys, I will be doing a question and answer section or video. Ouch. I'll be doing a question and answer video for you guys um, very shortly here since I'm coming up on a thousand views. I just want you guys to know who is reading for you. So if you guys are interested in knowing anything about Nicola, which is me, if you're interested in knowing anything about me, put your questions in the comment section. And when I do my video, I'll be sure to shout you out um, when I answer your questions. So... That's all I got for you. Until next time, Aries. See you later.